Okay, I'm running this class with um, Barry North's book, Joomla User's Guide. And in chapter 4, chapter 4 is a really important chapter in the Joomla text, uh, Joomla User's Guide by Barry North. And in it he talks about how to organize your content. And um, here's the front page of my site with all the sample content. Here's the back end, the administrative page. And so I'm going to go to content, I'm going to go to um, section manager and we'll take a look at the section. So you organize your content in Joomla with um, sections and categories and then every article that you write um, has to belong to a certain section or category. So I'm going to make a new section here. So I'm in the section manager and I'll say new section and this is kind of how I did it in, in, my, um, in my site. So I put title, I'll put um, you know classes right published yes public okay the select image no I'm not gonna have an image if I want to put a description about the section right classes taught by me okay so there's a little description and I'll hit save so now I have a I have a section called classes right and now I'll go to the category manager and I can make a category so I'll hit new here and I'll say title Joomla right published yes section classes right so now when I hit save this category will be part of you know and I can also put a description for the um, for the category if I want, you know, uh, a class about Joomla. Okay. And I can hit save. All right. So now I'll have a new category that's part of the class section. So we'll look here and I'll find it here. Let's see here. Joomla, right? I just made this category and the section that it's in is classes, right? So now, if I go to the article manager, I can write an article, right? I can create a paper, basically, or a page, right? And I will give it those, those, those uh, so that section and that category. So I'll hit new, and I'll say, you know, week three in Joomla, class we are learning about organizing and displaying content okay so I'll call it uh, week three right and then I'll choose section classes and then category is Joomla right published is yes if I want it to show up on the front page component I can hit yes here but I don't right now so I'll just leave it like that right and I've got a bunch of tools here that I can use I can put a picture in the article I can make the font bold I can highlight you know the the font change its color all kinds of stuff that I can do here but right now I just wanna keep it basic alright so I'll hit uh, this this article is called week three in Joomla alright and so I'll hit save alright so I just created an article that belongs to the section classes in the category Joomla right and we can see it in our article manager um, let's see here where is it I like to look through sections and categories so there's section classes category Joomla there's week three in Joomla it's published right but where is it on the home page? If I go to the home page and I refresh, um, you can see that it's popped in automatically into this module right here called Latest News. Because the way this module is is designed, and it's and it comes with Joomla, uh, you can use it if you want. Any of your latest articles will show up here. So Week Three in Joomla shows up here, and I can click here and I can see it. But Week three in Joomla class we are learning about. There it is. All right, but it's it's nowhere else, right? So it's not anywhere else on the site. If you click on all these menus, you're not going to find it, right? So 
and this was lucky that we had this latest news tool here that just shows you the latest articles. Otherwise, you would not see my article anywhere. Well, here's the thing with Joomla. Just because you create an article doesn't mean it's going to show up on your site. Content um, is only shown when there's a link to it, right? So usually what you have to do to show an article is you have to make a menu link to link to your article, right? So I'm going to show you how to do that now. So if I want to do that, let's say on the main menu, I want to put a link to my class and call the link Joomla class. And when you click on it, you get to see whatever the article is. So what I'll do is go to menus. And I believe the left menu is the main menu. Right? And now I'm in the menu item manager. OK. And you can see that the menu items are, you can scroll down and look at some of the menu items right there. There's home, right, all that stuff. I'm going to make a new menu link. So I'll hit new. And then you have to choose what kind of link you want. So in this case, I'll just do the very simplest one. I'll click on articles, right? And article layout is if you want to link to a single article, just one article. Category blog layout is if you want to link to all the articles in a specific category. Okay. And then section blog layout is if you want to show list to all the articles in a certain section. So what I'm usually use for dance courses is category blog layout, right? If I want to go to one article only, article layout. If anything in the category, I'll go to category blog layout. So I'll click on that category blog layout because it's usually pretty useful for me anyway. And I'll give it a title, Joomla class, right? It's in the top menu, right? It's in the top menu. I can make it part of a sub-menu. If I click here, it'll be a sub-menu under more about Joomla. But I just want to be a part of the top menu. And then the main thing is I have to pick the category. So right here, I go over here to classes, Joomla, right? And I'll hit save. So now I'll have a menu link called Joomla class. And when you click on it, it'll go to the category classes Joomla and show you all the articles essentially in that class. And you can set up how many the articles are going to display here. Leading one, intro four, columns two, links four. I'll explain that later. So I'll hit save. Go to my front page. Hit refresh. And you'll see now on the main menu here, there is a link to Joomla class here at the bottom. It, was the, it defaulted to the last position. And if I click on it, it goes to my article, Week 3 in Joomla, and there's the text that I had written. Right. So if I had another article in the same category, it would show up underneath here. And then another one would show underneath that one, and underneath that one, and so on and so forth. But that's how you get your content to show up. Once you create the content, you put it into. Once you create an article and put it into a section and category, for it to show up on your site, you usually have to link to it somehow, some way. And we'll talk about this more in the next video.